Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So we're still out exploring and I ended up at this really uh, crazy little frozen area with desert sticking out of it actually this is um, yeah beach biome yeah and then I don't, it's, it's weird but there is there's a couple interesting things here one is there's this which is a uh, one of those underwater structures and it spawned on some gravel and there was there was a drowned inside it but and it's like one of these treasure things a little fishing pole action uh, but it is completely out of the water and these are supposed to spawn underwater. It's kind of weird um, There's also an iceberg over there. That's all blue ice, which I need to keep an eye on or need to go get at but I need to keep an eye on The time There's like some more blue ice over there blue ice. You can craft it, but it's like crazy expensive So I've been tearing down some stuff and I've got I've got a few things here some buried treasure and you know i don't remember i logged out here a little bit ago i don't remember if i got into this this sunken ship or not let's see if it looks like i have no uh actually no i think i did okay so that's all fine and dandy is there anything over here go down below the hatch let's make sure that I have got in this books yeah I think I got all the I got the treasure map out of here no poisonous potatoes all right that's fine okay get out before um, we're not gonna drown okay so what's gonna happen Sun is starting to go down so we are going, I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to go to bed and then we're going to sail over and we're going to get ourselves some blue ice. And, oh yeah, that's right. Found some polar bears, right? There's a polar bear there now. We'll swing by afterwards. The The icebergs are super cool. Um, and a good source when you come this far out. Good source of uh, compressed ice, which is also craftable, but it gets a little expensive even with the ice farm, so... Oh, that's right. One thing I have to do uh, before I leave the area, I saw a thing on the wiki that you, if you feed cod to dolphins, they will lead you to nearby treasure, like sunken ships, which is uh, which is cool. But they actually lead you to the chests on board the sunken ships, and so if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, break the chests once you raid the ships there's a chance they can lead you back to a ship you've already been to. So, all right, I will see you in the morning. And there we go, good morning. So I've been very careful to sleep while on my little adventure here, my exploration. And the reason being is that I just don't want to deal with the phantoms uh, because they are, they're not too bad to deal with if you're sort of prepared for them, but it's, it's a bit it's, they're they can be a little bit they're scary certainly and they make a lot of really scary noises and uh, and they're they're a little bit of a pain so oh that's right now i'm like picking up all this stuff that were in the chest but i've got chests come on go up go up swim up there we go all right so let's go over to that blue iceberg and see what we can get Hi, Mr. Polar Bear. How are you? The polar bears are super cute. Wish there was an easy way to get them back. I need to get some back to the spawn area because we have this intention of building a zoo. Whoa, what was that? Um, we're going to build a zoo, which is cool. Um, these birds are really weird. They're like square arches. Huh. Okay. 
So, how do I... Where do I land here? Oh, right there. Oh, they made a little dock for me. Or kind of. Plop. My pockets are full. So I'm going to have to throw out some of this stuff. But let's go... Uh, and... Oh, blue ice. Yeah, my pockets are full. I don't need the zombie flush. Blue ice. There we go. This stuff is really cool. Yeah, it's great for uh, making like boat roads. That's not too bad. That's a good amount of, of uh, blue ice there. Okay, so we are it's starting to get dark, I think. Oh, that's one thing that's changed is you can put beds down now on things that you were never able to before. So, sun's going down. Yeah, let's go to bed. Uh, so, I don't think you could put uh, beds on glass or or ice before. And now it appears that you can, which is super cool. So, we are... Maybe ice was. I know, like, at the ice farm, I built it primarily out of snow. Or, I built it out of glass. And then we had to, uh, had to replace a couple of the blocks of glass with snow in order to be able to put the bed on it. And I noticed at the witch farm, I can now put beds on I, on glass. So that's uh, that's really helpful. So let's get take this down to the water line. See how far, much farther we're going to take it. Because um, I do want to do a couple other things here today uh, before we go home from this particular exploration adventure it's interesting how long it takes stuff to uh come up to the surface when it's floating and it's and i'm wondering if it's different for different types of items like stuff have a water weight or something i don't know okay so get this shulker box back in here and let's pick up um let's see I like having a couple of ender, ender chests in my inventory uh, at all times because then if I accidentally drop one or break it with the wrong pickaxe, um, I'm I'm okay. So it's still early-ish in the morning, and let's see what we can find out here. Uh, I'm going to go out and I'm not sure where I'm looking at in terms of direction from a little our portal but let's go out a little ways here and all this lovely kelp underwater let's see if we can find some treasure around here Okay, this one looks like we're a long ways away. We need to go east. Uh, so that would be... This direction. Some of those ice spikes there look like they have... Or I guess those are icebergs. They look like they have faces. I don't think that was the intention, but they're kind of cute. Okay. Getting any closer? No, this one seems like it's a ways off, so... We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll sail out closer to it and we'll see more polar bears. Oh, that's an interesting pillar of blocks. Oh, there's an igloo. I haven't been to an igloo in a while. Let's go check it out. Or is that an igloo? It looks like it looks like the right shape. Let's see what it is. It's the right shape, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a mound of ice that looks like an igloo. Interesting. We're still a long way so off here. Okay. Let's get closer. What is that? 
I think it's just a rock formation, but it looks suspiciously like a structure of some sort. Uh, yes, it is. It is. I think it's supposed to be. It's a treasure. It's a treasure chest. Okay, come on. Whoa. Oh, Lorax is on. Let's get out of the boat. Be a little safer up here. This is another one of these that uh, generated above, um, above, where is that chest I saw it? It's underneath here. It's right, ah, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Emeralds, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, buddy. Yeah, so this is another one of these normally underwater structures. Oh, and there's a, there's a ship right here. What time is it? It's starting to get dark. Let's go get this ship. Okay. Oops. The uh, variety of the ship structures is really interesting. Oh, this one is embedded inside a hill. Huh. Come on. Oh, I can't see squat down there. All right, so let us... What do I have? I've got water breathing, night vision. Probably don't need the water breathing. Let's take the night vision. That should help. Okay. You can probably get by without the water breathing. Is the chest still in here? Yes, it is. Interesting. Uh, another buried treasure map. Nice. I'll take that. And then if we go up over this end. Wow, oh, this one's chock full. Not with stuff I need, but it's chock full. Very cool. Unbreaking leather tunic. Okay, cool. All right. Anything else around here while I have the night vision on? Well, the night vision can be dangerous at night. Oh, I need to break those chests. Okay, sorry. Let me go take care of that, and then we will continue on. I, I don't know what that is. Hang on a second. Let's get the boat and go take a look. This was supposed to be a quickie little episode. I was going to get that blue ice, go find this treasure. Um, uh, what is this? Is this another underwater structure that got generated above water? I like the mossy cobble. Yeah, it is, because there's a sea lantern. And dudes are burning up as they come out after me. Not, oh, I hear another one. There's somebody in here, isn't there? Yeah, hello. And did I hear another? Or is that the death of... No, there's there's another one here somewhere. Oh, he's in here. Now, I, they can't pathfind. I mean, they pathfind best when they're in water. I'm wondering if when they're out of water like this, there's still someone there. There's someone right there. Oh, and look, there's there's more structure here. Okay. Oh, magma block. I'll take that. Did I get it? Yes. Oh, and there's another. This is crazy. Okay, let's get this chest. Another emerald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's take this out. So the chest is gone, and there should be a chest in here, and. <laughs> I hear you, but I don't see where you are. This structure is wild. It kind of looks like coral, so that kind of makes sense. But, um... Oh. It's a little baby. Ah, he just ran into the water. Okay. Um... So this, I've not seen one of these structures before. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, this is just the roof. Chest. Interesting. Okay, so there's like a little cluster of, of structures here. This one probably has a chest in it as well. Just a question of where. Right there. With not much. Oh, luck of the C3. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in this chest. Because this one over this chest over here had a luck 3 fishing pole. Right? I think so. Um... Let's get rid of the stone axe, get rid of the rotten flesh. But lure three, luck of the C3, not bad. Those could be combined into a decent uh, decent rod. All right, so we can put some of this other stuff up that I don't really need. Okay. And then what's over down here? There's one block of water here. And it got updated, so now it's flowing out all over. There's, sh I would think there's a chest in here somewhere, right? Oh, I'm standing on it. No, that's just magma, which I'll take. Huh. So these treasure chests can be underneath sand or gravel. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not seeing one here. Oops, oh, get out. Oh, hello, Mr. Trident. Oh, I have to be careful with these guys because they hit hard. And they only have a, they have like a really small chance of actually dropping the trident. Okay, he did not, but he's dead. That's the important part. I need to eat here, but here's here's another one of these underwater structures. The nun, oh shoot. No, oh, get out of here. And oh, there's another one right there. Goodness, it's like a whole underwater sea village. Okay, let's get away from the water for a moment. I am a little hurt. There's another guy down there with a trident. Where is he? I should be able to see him. Hmm. Okay, keep an eye on the time of day. Okay, so there's another chest right down here. I'm thinking a shield, bringing it, getting out my shield might actually be a useful thing. Oh, it wasn't a trident, dude. It was just a little baby. Okay. What's in here? Another treasure chest. Okay, we can put a couple things up here. Okay, let's get some more air. We already got the treasure chest, the treasure map out of here, but I put my magma block in here out of a panic. Okay. There's another structure over here. Let's, uh,. Careful, there might be a guy in here. Unless I already killed him. Okay. Another treasure oh, a couple another a couple more emeralds. Another treasure map. Not bad. Okay, let's get this magma block. And, and just to be safe, we should break all of these chests. Ah, they're in. Okay. All right, so this is not exactly the kind of treasure I was looking for, but this is pretty cool. This is kind of exciting stuff. It, it, I think they did a good job with making this so that you want to explore it. And did we go in this one over here? I already take care of this one. Ugh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. Starting to get dark. We're still nowhere near our our treasure map treasure. So we will, this is kind of a weird placement here. There might be something in the ground here. Okay, uh, I will take care of that and then we will continue on our treasure map treasure hunt.
Well, what is this here? Um, interesting. This might be... This is a shipwreck, isn't it? This is a shipwreck that generated inside a beach. Wow. Okay, let's see what's down here. I've got a shovel. I can dig it out. We're still, um... Not terribly close to the treasure, so and it looks like I'm heading back to it. It's basically I'm heading back towards I didn't need to dig that much sand, uh, heading back towards the portal. So I'm just gonna head back to the portal. We can uh come back and revisit this at another time since I have the map. But let's see what's down here. This chest. Bet there's another map in there. And is there another area back here? So it generated the entire ship. Oh, careful. Um, let us put some of the sand to work and refortify our water defenses here. I got a little a little aggressive with the with the digging. Okay, so here's the back room, All right? So let's switch to the pickaxe, clear out some of the sandstone. Normally this back room here, the chest would be right in here. I don't see it. Let's make sure none of this sand is hiding it, but I don't think it is. So I, it's really interesting. I wonder what the rules are for what generates where okay but there is a chest here and no treasure map bunch of other stuff though let's break it because it's kind of useless all right so let's go continue getting back to the uh the portal i got a little distracted but let's see which way we go Continue going out this way. Oh, there's our, uh, I think we're getting close because that was a, um, ocean monument that we've been past. Here's another one. Oh, that's right. So there's two ocean monuments that are super close here. Is this our base? No, we're still off a little bit. Right. Positive Z, no, it's negative Z, it's negative Z, positive X. So negative Z, positive X. So it's over that way. So here's that ocean monument that was covered in, in kelp and such. Okay, I keep overshooting things here. I, I'm in the neighborhood of the portal. I just keep overshooting because when you're flying around, it's easy to do. One thing that would be nice is having a potion of... Oh, look, here's our portal. Having a uh, potion of slow falling, which is something that I can do if I kill more... No, the slow falling... Yeah, yeah, if I kill more of the... Oh, you know, the Phantom guys. Okay, so we're back to our sort of Ford operating base. Let's clear out some of the stuff in my inventory. We can leave the boat here. Uh, the bed I'll take with me. Um, and sand. Very good. Okay, so I think that'll be it for today. Um, let us, I, I need to go back home so we can do some other stuff. 
and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Darren. Bye.